Hello everybody, my name is Natwinger, and welcome back to another episode of Aviation. So, this is X-Plane 10. No, this is a King Air. Um, <laughs> but I'm playing X-Plane 10. And we're gonna have a short flight here in the King Air C-90. I So, we are in Buchanan Field right now. It's K... Gonna be a second. K-C-C-R. Checking on my, uh map and we're not gonna go very far J just over to Reed Hillview uh, KRHV and let me tell you how we're gonna get there so we're gonna take off I can't see the the airfield ah right all right so we're gonna take off on this runway here I don't know what it's called <laughs> take off and follow this highway all the way down to here and keep following it come back and uh... F follow uh... sorry go around Reed Hillview turn around by the power plant and then come in on approach on I think it is one three three one one three or three one I don't remember let me get my paper I'll be right back Yeah, it is 3-1, so we're going to go at land at 3-1 right. Uh, I can't find ATIS for um, Buchanan Field. Excuse me, the, uh, the trash is coming. <laughs> they forgot me. <laughs> Alright, so let's... <laughs> master warning, master caution. Alright, so let's start up the plane. Comms, nav... And the lights, where are those, All right? Strobe. Oh yeah, the, uh, the battery is on, I forgot to turn that off. And taxi lights. Turn on the fuel for the left engine. Uh, engine auto ignition, and start it. And you can see that it's starting to turn now. Oh, I'm not. Is it starting? I can't tell. Yep. There we go. And so you can turn on the auto ignition, turn on the generator, and shut off the battery. Uh, now what? Right. Okay, so the next engine. Fuel. Auto ignition. And start it. That doesn't look good at all. No, no, no. Cut off fuel. I'm gonna break the engine. How did that... What is that? That is ITT? Oh, the start. That <laughs> it's scary when you see that thing just jumping up. Alright, so let's try that again. That's it, really peeping outside. Alright, you see the needle going up? Alright, the torque on both aircraft is like... Nothing. Alright, so then they're, they're both leveled back. And three is... The prop is too high. I've noticed that that's been happening a lot recently, and it's kind of annoying. I'm just gonna keep them, keep the both props at full. I don't know how to turn that on. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think we could taxi on. Uh, wait, no, shift four. Yeah, we can taxi now. I'm going to do something that's called a pro gamer move. I'm going to taxi with reverse thrust. Alright, so this is... I'm going to... <laughs> I'm going to show you how I... Where I'm going to taxi. Alright. 
It's so slow reacting. Mm -hmm. Stop. <laughs> Alright, so here we are now, the flashing green one. I'm gonna push back and then taxi down here and go all the way up to the runway and take off. Sound good? It's good. Um, alright. So let's start taxiing now. Now with this turboprop, it, the King Air is a turboprop, but it is all right. Oh yeah, the generator and the inverter, avionics and generator. All right. So then, that's all the master cautions turned off. Now get ready and B for parking brake. All right. So I don't remember where I'm going. All right. So basically, take a right. No. Left. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> left. <laughs> and then take an immediate right. Yeah, the first right. So, this isn't isn't very realistic cuz I'm not contacting ground. Uh Oh, the line I can't. I'm not supposed to. All right then. Just follow this. Uh, you know what? Here's the runway, I think. So just follow this, cross this runway, and take off. That's okay. <laughs> I pressed M instead of brake. Okay. Yeah, this, um, engines are idling while I'm taxiing. And I'm already, I can already climb up to 40 knots while idling. Alright, so take a right here. I think it's, uh, according to that sign, I think it's 4-1 left. I hold short, eek! <laughs> I did that instead. Um, just double checking that there are, yeah, I don't know why I'm doing it here. There are no other planes taking off. Because well, that would be bad. I crossed the taxiway. Okay. The engine's high. Because I want to get across the runway fast. And then take an immediate left right here. November. I'm still on the runway. Yeah. May I think big planes have to land here. Ugh, I keep overrunning the taxiway. If there's such a big runway. Alright, so I'm going to set my flaps ready. Right. Uh, <laughs> right now, we're pressing 2 or... Oh, wow. Okay, so I didn't... I thought you just... <laughs> That's new. Uh, now we're going to go do the pass passenger debriefing. No, this key. Yeah. It's not very fast at all. all right, I'm stuck on the... There we go. This is how it would look from a passenger sitting this way. Although, if I were a passenger, I wouldn't be sitting backwards in a plane, because that doesn't seem very fun. Alright, let's get back. No. All right. Let's pretend that the tower gave us permission to take off. So, or position and hold or whatever. I don't care. <laughs> take off. All right. Just checking the map one more time. Take off here and follow the highway and turn, follow the highway, turn around at the power plant and land. Yeah. I think it's funny how there's like a C-130 here, a 747, and like 
four thousand. Um, so there are a bunch of regulations. So we're gonna have to stay under four thousand feet because that is Class Bravo airspace of San Francisco, and around here you have to stay away from San Jose. So I'm gonna have to cross Reed Hillview or this one. It's called Reed Hillview. Uh, around the other way, uh, like that, and then turn around and land because. Otherwise, I'd be going through the airspace. You know, it, I could go this way. Not even this way. I, I could go this way, but I'd have to stay under uh, 2,500 feet. And I don't want to do that because that basically be, it's too low for comfort. Alright, pick and brake off, and engine's at full. Now, I took a break off before. Uh, I took a break off and then started my engines rev before because all right 80 knots because the this turbo chop is really powerful 100 and rotate now i'm going to pause right here because there's a bunch of aircraft out here that i want and if any of you know if there's an add on i can't find it any oh here it is that fedex There. If any of you know what this aircraft is called, let me know because I want it. <laughs> Alright, let's get back. Alright, gear up. Alright, here's the highway, so can take a turn. Yeah, I always, I, I'm flying VFR, I'm going to cruise at 4,000. Um, wait, no, 3,000, I think, because 4,000 is class Charlie or Bravo, oh, no. I don't know, another airspace, so I'm checking my map, just to be safe, yeah, okay, whoa, I, I lost control of the aircraft there for a hot second, so here's the highway, right here, alright, It is a little, st st it is a pretty steep turn. I don't know, the steep turn makes me kind of uncomfortable sometimes. Just depends how steep, okay. Minimums, flaps up. Oh, yeah, I could feel it, the plane wants to go down now. My gear is up, okay, I just wanted to double check. Alright, now let's climb to 3,000. Now, okay, Hot. pause for a sec. The highway goes that way, and I think we need to go this way. Let me check the map another time. Yeah, okay, so we we just fly over that. I'm going to start my turn so it doesn't have to be sharp. Be sharp? Well, that's a note. Ha, 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 ha. All right, so... I like to be, I'm comfortable at keeping my speed under 180 knots. As you can see, my airspeed indicator is down here. Uh, and the yellow, the thing with the yellow arrow, that's my compass. The blue and orange thing, that's the artificial horizon. If you don't know, blue means sky and orange means death. Or the ground. <laughs> Alright, so I am not sure where the highway is. Oh, there it is. I see it. Right there. Oh. This zooming in feature is pretty nice. So, I don't know what this thing works. Because I've, I've never... I don't fly IFR. That's not mojo. <laughs> if you don't know, IFR is instrument flight rules and VFR is visual flight rules. And I'm flying VFR. And, like I said, I'm one of Okay, 3,000 feet. Start leveling off here. And lower engines to stay under 180. Or at. Um, my dad. I said in, in my last X Plane video that my dad started training. Uh, here's that. There's a mountain right there. You can't see it very well. There. That's a, uh, another. 
I forget the word for it. It's a, okay. I'm 200 feet above my flight level. My dad. My dad would say, "What's going on?" I I oh I do have the feeling a lot that whenever I, like my flight level like um my wings are leveled with the horizon, I always have the feeling that my nose is dipping down, so I have a tendency to pull up when I don't need to. Kind of like the seven three seven map. Okay, that was a bad joke, and I make it like a thousand times. That's the last time... Oh, crap. <laughs> I'm a little fast, but... That's the last time I'm going to make that joke on this channel, I swear. Or do I? Just making sure we level... Stay, stay level at 3,000 feet. Uh... No, okay. I would, I was I was thinking that this okay, that's a six eighty. That we we're gonna start turning, but I thought this was and I wanted to know if we needed to turn. I am two thousand nine hundred. I'm one hundred under now. As you can tell, I'm not a very good pilot. Now, okay. I'm just double checking that that is, in fact, the 680. I know it is because there are the hills here, and we don't need, we don't want to fly over those because then we overshoot Reed Hillview. Or we could just keep flying. I mean, we're not. Maybe we could do that again uh, next time if there is a next time, because I. I kind of enjoy making these videos. I mean, it gets it can get boring. I'm sure it won't cuz I I want to learn how to use the autopilot on this. Uh, this is a Beechcraft King Air C90 and there is an auto ooh, <laughs> there is an autopilot panel down here, but I don't know how to use it. All right, you could start making that turn now. Cuz the highway is right there. Now, I don't... I, I really want to use the... I keep forgetting the words. I, I, I want to learn how to use the autopilot because I want to fly from Lake Tahoe to here, or maybe the other way around, because... Let me go on the map real quick. Okay, it's not loading in Lake Tahoe, but you can just trust me about this. Lake Tahoe is like this area. Yeah. Here in a sectional. But, um, texture, do we need... No, that's just the... Interesting, though. Look at all the... This is all populated. But not the hills. All oh, that's... Okay. I'm getting off... <laughs> Whoa. Okay, it's loading. <laughs> not, we're off track. Ah! Whoa. <laughs> I think my plane broke. I. Okay. Or I say. Okay. The square. The square. Okay, we're like two, 300 feet above flight level. And a little slow, so we could just exchange altitude for speed. Alright, I'm gonna start making the term a little bit more sharp now. But th now we're gonna stay on the other side of the highway. Alright, every single. Th time I, I I click the map it's pretty annoying so oh wait no that's the different one that's the wrong highway okay that's good to know I have to turn right next to the mountains but what I was talking about was when when I turn I'm gonna turn like that and stay on this side of the highway now because I don't I want to stay out of the San Jose airspace Alright, so you can regulate it out now. Yeah, I should have figured because, like, yeah, that's Hayward Executive right here. C you can't see it very well. And that means Oakland should be right around here. Yeah, that's Oakland. Yeah, I should have known. 
I, I should stop pausing it. Cause that's not okay. Now I'm I'm really climbing. Yeah, but I, I did cross. I should have known. See, I have the feeling that I'm 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 I'm, I'm dipping. So I I pulled up instinctively. It's getting pretty hot in my room. Let me turn the cooling on. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I mean, it is hot in my room, and I do want the cooler on, but it won't work on the X-Plane. Or will it? <laughs> I wish. So now I, now I see the power lines there. And I think I have... Yeah. I, oh, I see where my mistake was. So... There is a highway that was going, like, perpendicular to the 680. And I mistook that for the turn of the 680. I should have waited for the 680 itself to turn. Yeah, I I'm, I'm, I'm should be at about 3,000. I don't know what this means, though. I don't know what to do. And I didn't need to load. Alright, so now we could start making our... I mean, it's still pretty early, but if we wanted to, we could start making our turn now. <sighs> oh, man. I shouldn't be flying a plane if I'm, if I'm tired. See, now my eyes are watering up because I yawned. I'm starting to lose my sight, which is bad because... Ooh. <laughs> That's bad. It's not good because it's bad. Oh, look, a little. Two polices. Boop. Okay. Okay. <laughs> see the two flashing lights? They're right by my windshield wiper. You see them? Right. Right here. Look right here next time I, I, I play. Yeah. You see it now? Whoa. Yeah, there's two two police officers or police cars, I should say. So the highway curves on like that, and I'm gonna stay on this side of it. I'm just double checking on my map again. Oh, that's right. I went. I went this way. I should have known. Uh, okay. So I missed again. I mistook the 680 for this road. But all I have to do is, is uh, make a, a right turn so I could regain visual. <laughs> so I can regain visual of the 680. Whoa. Alright, so it should be right here. Yeah. I see it. Right. No? Huh. Oh, no, yeah. Right here. Wait, I, I am I not over it though? It's really confusing. Yeah, this isn't the 680, and that's really confusing. That's throwing me. Maybe it is, and I'm mistaking this for the. Uh, my brain hurts. Yeah, I don't. No, this can't be the 680. So I think uh, the gr yeah the gray thing is 680. So I am right on top of it. All right, again, I'm 200 feet above flight level right in front of us that that was my phone but right in front of us is you probably didn't hear my phone because of this microphone but right in front of us right here is Moffett Field so my original plan for this flight was to land at Palo Alto which is like at our two o'clock right now, maybe no more about more about three o'clock. Um, <sighs> yeah, I, I really shouldn't be flying. <laughs> um, but there's a bunch of airspace for San Jose and Moffat in the way, which makes Palo Alto a really difficult airport to get into. I mean, physically, um, like 
with the terrain, of course, uh, and everything, it's really easy. I, you could fly into, um, a, 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 a rookie like me can fly into Palo Alto with little to no struggle. Not even, I wouldn't even call it struggle, just inconvenience, really. Uh, but, alright, so now we're following the 101, I think. So these six, no, we're still following, it's still the six, or, hmm, <laughs> uh, yeah, so this is the 680, we're still following that, and we have a, a long ways to go, so we're about halfway at our flight, under that, and I don't see Reed Hill View yet, I mean, I don't, oh, yeah, right there, right, under the other mouse, there's, I have two mouses, and the one, right, okay, right here, <laughs> And so we're not going to be approaching into it. We're going to fly, like I said, we're going to fly around it and, and wait for the power plant and then turn around and approach on, I think I said, 3, 1, right? So from right, from this perspective, it's a left runway. But when we turn around, it's going to be the right. Alright, so now that the 680 is starting to turn to the right, I'm going to start following the foothills. Again, I'm, I'm high. But right here, when I'm over, I'm going to follow those. Actually, I have some family that lives on these hills. I mean, it's farther up. Or, or I should say south, but it's it's farther that way. So if I get X-Plane 11, I think I'm not going to do the autopilot on X-Plane 10, because X-Plane 10 doesn't have a really good model for the C90. Um, I could buy the 350i, uh, the add-on, or not the i, just the 350. Uh, King Air I'm talking about, of course. Um, but that's for X-Plane 11. So if you guys want to see me do real flights instead of these IFR flights, uh, no, VFR, visual flight rules. If you guys want me to see, if you want, bleh, I can't, <laughs> I'm trying to talk too fast. <sighs> if you guys want me to see IFR flights that come from me, then you'll have to help me buy X-Plane 11. I will put the link for the GoFundMe in the description below of this video. Now, I have no idea how long it's going to be or how much I'm going to end up cutting it. I'm going to try keeping it as uncut as possible. Unless I make like a, a really bad joke that I'm um I'm not proud of, in which case I'll cut it out. Yeah, I I don't know what most of these instruments are. I mean, here's the torque, the ITT. I I only know is that I, that has something to do with the engines. <laughs> so if if I if I idle the engines, the ITT goes down, and if I Full, put the engine at full, it's going to go up to 7, and right now, I keep it at, it's, it's at 6, or like right below 6. I think that this is vertical speed? I don't know. The, the, the one right next to the artificial horizon, that's the altimeter, uh, to the right of the artificial horizon, that's the altimeter. To the left of the artificial horizon, that's the speedometer. Below that is the compass. Um, below the ITT, that's to the top right. All right, so I'm gonna, st <laughs> I'm gonna st shut up and look for the power plant. Now, if I remember correctly, it's behind these mountains. Checking my my map again. Don't know where I am. All right here, yeah. Um. Yeah, okay, so this is the mountains I was looking at, and it is, it's right behind them. These mountains. <laughs> um, also, I, I, if, if we, uh, I can English speak good. <laughs> if I do, if you guys end up buying x or helping me buy x 11, then I probably will buy a yoke. I'm only saying that because the chances of 
X Plane Eleven, the GoFundMe being f funded, is like practically non-existent because n people don't pay for other people's things. I mean, when I started it, I thought, oh, it could depend on the kindness of some people's hearts. Then I realized, hey, wait a minute, this is real life. It's not gonna happen. Not only that, are people like so, some people not nice, but I'm such a tiny channel. Like I said, 19, uh, 19 subscribers. Two of those are me. The other half of <laughs> okay. So I'm getting pretty low. So I'm gonna climb to three thousand. But right at this hill, I'm gonna not three thousand, three thousand five hundred. Uh, but right at this hill, I'm gonna start the turn. But anyway, like I was saying, I'm ranting. I forgot. I'm like when you rant, you gotta keep ranting. <laughs> um, not only are like the half, half the half. Let me start from the beginning. I have 19 subscribers. Two of those are me. So it's my school account and Natwing or Max. Um, ooh, you know what? I'm kidding. <laughs> um, Alright, so I think the power plant's right there. But I'm gonna, okay, I'm going to the side and descending. Uh, I'm the half that isn't family are, are the, practically the only people who are watching my videos. Uh, I mean, I watch my own videos on my dad's account, and sometimes he watches my videos by himself. But other than that, no one watches my videos. Like, my family, I don't think they watch my videos. I might, actually. And I could just make myself look like a jerk here. Now, I actually... Yeah, okay, so the power plant's right there. And the way they made made it look like the power plant is they just put, like, a, a bunch of... Uh, I forget the word for it. Power lines in one spot. I just spammed it. Alright, so I'm going to start my turn now. So, you can barely see it, but right where I put my mouse, right here, there's an airport, and that's, uh, yeah, I'm going to descend to 2000 while I turn but that airport I just pointed at was in Gilroy, which maybe we can fly to next time. Um, I'm thinking my next flight could be like to a big airport, so like, like fly from Reed Hillview to San Francisco. I've been talking a lot, and it feels good to shut up for a little bit. I mean, not because I feel like people aren't listening to me. I mean, probably not. <laughs> um, you know what I could do? I could just make, like, a, a muted version of this. Where people, like, if they hate my voice, they could just... You know what's really unfair? Is that I can't record sound. So all you see is how my plane is reacting. You don't get any of the... The, the sounds of the engines, or the wind whooshing by, or my, my terrible landing that's about to play by. Right, I'm getting pretty fast. And I, I would like to warn you, I'm very bad at landings. Like, horrible. Like, Ryanair times ten. I guess it would be th that would be that Russian airline. Aerofoot. it. I think it's like Aerofoot or something. I don't know. Because I don't live in Russia. Or the law requires that I answer no. <laughs> See what I mean? They just put a bunch of power lines here. Now the actual power plant doesn't look anything like this. I mean it is right next to a lake that looks has a basic shape like this. Alright, so, oh, 1,500. We're really low. Uh, Alright, so now I'm gonna look for Reed Hillview. No, I think I see it. No. Let's not read. Um, 
Oh, there. No, that's San Francisco. Uh, San Jose, I mean. I'm gonna go on my map. Alright, so Reed Hillview is pretty far to my right. Um, oh, so I, I flew pretty sloppily. I went like like that, turned around here. So I need to take a, a sharp turn to the right and go over those mountains again. Uh, so it should be over to my, like, right here. I think I see it. Yeah, it's right under my mouse right now. No, I don't know if uh Okay, I'm starting to get pretty slow. If the file that this video is is good, I hope it is. I hope it doesn't compact it too much cuz if it does and you can't uh, you can't see the runway and I'm just looking like an idiot. That would suck. Uh, but like I said before, I'm gonna go on the right one run one way runway, but I'm gonna divert to the left one so I don't pass over the approaches of the the right run uh, the left runway. So I'm gonna stay on the left. I don't I don't know if I said that at the beginning of my video. All right, so right now I'm gonna aim for my speed. All right. Put the gear down and flaps half. All right, I'm going to put my flaps down another notch. My engines lower. And so I don't, I think my 80 is the stalling speed of the C90. I don't know, I've never tried it. But on the altimeter, it's if you don't see it, I can easily. But there's a red line. All right, there's a beep. But I guess I I guess I am tired. But the red line I think means stall speed. Now I've flown under six uh, under eighty before, at around sixty, but I didn't enjoy it because I stalled. And I I landed with nose gear first. Like I planted my gear into the into the tarmac. Alright, I got my five hundred alarm or not alarm, but notification. That's the second time I've done that, so my approach must be pretty wobbly. So this is actually the airport that my father trained at before I was born. Alright, so I'm a little bit too far to the left. I'm going to correct that right now. Yeah, I'm going to stop talking because I'm going to try to concentrate on my landing. Because this is a pretty short runway for the C90. and Which means I'm going to have to be on my... My A game, <laughs> for lack of a better term. All right, so we're pretty center line, but not, not really. A little high. No, no, we're not. Uh. All right, I'm panicking. I'll oh, shut up. My high again. All right, really off center line. Okay, engines idle, brakes on, flare, hard landing. Ooh, that was. Base really on time though. All right, watch me stop. All right, get off the runway as fast as possible. <laughs> if you can hear that laughing in the background, that's my sister. But I don't think you can. Eek! 
Alright, so we stop here. Normally we'd be contacting ground, but instead I'm going to shut down my right engine. And taxi with only with only one engine. That's okay. Most air, most airports or aircraft do that, I think. My dad didn't do it, but he flew in a one engine Cessna 172, which isn't <laughs> like I just said, it isn't a, a double engine aircraft like the C90. And obviously, I could feel the plane wants to veer to the right because only one engine is spinning. Yeah, as you can see, the torque is gone, the ITT, whatever that means, is, is all the way down on the right engine, which is to be expected. Right, sorry for that cutout. I thought I heard someone knock on my door. All right, I'm going to stop right here. <laughs> and check if... Check for traffic. All right, there's a truck. But I don't think a truck's going to be taking off anytime soon, so we're going to have time to cross. All right. High engine, but not too high, because I don't want to... <laughs> master warning, master caution! <laughs> I, 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 um... And got scared. I thought, well, is that was that my doing? Ooh, I need to turn on my battery. But yeah, I'm gonna stop up on this ramp and park in my normal parking space. So X plane identifies this air the C ninety as general aviation. I don't know if I would, because it's a turboprop, although it is a very small turboprop. All right, slow down and stop here. All right, so avionics, inverter off, generator off. Oh wait, the battery's on. <laughs> I forgot auto. Oh, I forgot to turn off the auto ignition, but that should be okay. And shut down the fuel. I think. Now you can shut up now. Yeah, that shutting down sound is terrifying. Because you can imagine, like, if you are in the airplane, and you could hear the engines go, hmm, that would be pretty scary, uh, if I do say so myself. No. Down and to the right. What is a pretty cool option is that you can go click, and the door opens. Not this way. Oh yeah, my flaps. I'm gonna bring those up. I completely forgot my flaps existed. And you can look at them. Squeezing up into the wing. Oh yeah, look at my ailerons. Alrighty. That is all for this time. Uh, right before I do that, I'm going to turn off my battery, <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed this video of aviation, and if you did, make sure to go to my GoFundMe so I can make better videos than this one, because you got to admit, this video was pretty bad. <laughs> um, oh, excuse me, not to mention my landing, that was really bad. That is all for this time. I hope you had a fan flippantastic day. I'll see all of you in the next video. Goodbye!